so once we uh, successfully test and install that uh, mongodb we are going to uh, process the mongodb driver using java for that i'm just speaking, taking the browser and just so i'm just in order to bind the mongodb with a the java there is a mongodb driver so for that i am searching as a mongo java driver two point something any versions you can give so once you give that you just go to the first link mm, in that first link you, you can get any version you can take any version i'm just pick up uh, this version it gets start downloaded when you give save it is uh, down it gets downloaded so once you uh, download this driver uh, we are going to uh, make the programming use an IDE for that I am just going to open an IDE I am just here I am using going to use an Eclipse IDE just click it and open the Eclipse IDE pull MongoDB code using Java so here uh, I am doing I'm just uh, in this program first I have uh, given this code for getting connected with that MongoDB driver for example I'm giving the local host and its a port number uh, this is uh, our database name for example we can able to uh, create any name for example I am giving um, any name here database name and uh, this is our column name so we just give any column name I am just giving the uh, sun call name this, uh, so the collection is an object which uh, which is used to create the collection and DB is an object which is used to create the database now after creating the collection of the database uh, collection in terms we mean the table here now after the creating this we are going to insert a document or the rows these are the rows and uh, these are the values we are inserted here uh, then these are the object uh, which is used to create a gru uh, group of documents and these documents will be grouped and uh, it will be listed in the details uh, object and uh, at last we we uh, group all the things and uh, we go we are going to insert the document using the collection object and dot insert document soon after that uh, so we have to import that uh, db that mongo java driver db for that i am just right click it go to the properties uh, you just find an java um, compiler here sorry you just go to the java build path and uh, you f you will have the very stuff you just go to the library tab and, uh, and I'm already insert. I have inserted that MongoDB. You will find the MongoDB jar I have uh, inserted here. If not, you just go to the add external jar and you will add it. You just uh, uh, cl uh, click the downloaded uh, MongoDB jar and click open. Here I uh, have already opened, so I just give OK. Once the jar, uh, driver is installed, everything is will run perfectly now so just give right click and run as java application uh, here you can able to see the output here uh, so basic object example here is an id is a default object and uh, here the rows the database uh, here the rows and that uh, fields are created with that values here the values here are uh, uh, too many rows are here in the und uh, under the detail row too many records are inserted and grouped into uh, under the detail menu we have successfully processed the uh, mongodb using java here so once uh, we have uh, created and successfully manipulated using java we can uh, uh, also able to access that uh, mongodb using an id so for that i am just uh, going to download an mongodb id just uh, for that i am searching mongo uh, v u e download this is a mongodb id uh, for that i am just going to the first link this is the mongodb id 
used uh, used for the perfect manipulation of the MongoDB database. Just giving download. Just give save file. It is getting started and installed now. So uh, for, um, before uh, so after installing it, uh, we have to install after sorry after downloading we have to install this mongo v v u v i d so for that the prerequisite software we need is dotnet framework is needed for uh, running this software uh, so for that uh, so it is uh, getting downloaded and it is in that uh, basically in the windows 7 machine um dotnet framework is Insta um, already available, so we have to enable it. Further, I just go to the control panel. There you will find um, program future, program and features. So where you can able to find the turn Windows features on. So in that, you you will find an option of um, Microsoft .NET Framework. So you just expand that plus mark and just put a tick mark here and, and give OK. So once you have uh, installed it, you have to restart the system. So further I am just going to restart the system here for uh, for saving the settings here once you restart the system we just I'm going to install the Mongo V ID just extract it and go to the installer just install it here give next and give next give next it's getting installed once you enable the dot and frame of in our Windows 7 system or um, Mongo V driver is getting installed now. Yeah. So and we are going to program this. Uh, this is it? And it just uh, in order to program this Mongo DB with that uh, Java. So we again open this. Uh, Eclipse ID here. <coughs> so now also we are going to um, process that uh, MongoDB driver. You just here you can find an option MongoDB. Okay, so we just go. I am going to open that driver here now. Now the Eclipse is open now. So here some go to be just give OK. Uh, here uh, it will show that connection window. So I am just going to create another connection. Just uh, give a plus connection here and give name. Uh, I am just giving any sample. This is the profile name. Uh, the server name will be uh, localhost. Father, I am just entering 0.0.0.1 is the port number username password is uh, default one uh, database if you use any database means uh, just otherwise you just uh, leave empty and this is just in profile uh, just leave empty here and give save and this is the connection uh, one just click it and connect settings and give connect here you are uh, sample one is created here uh, you can get to see inside that the profile you can see the list of databases basha local mango file new db and raj rr your db these are the list of uh, uh, database will be created so for example uh, in that new db you can see the collections uh, already we have created the connection called contacts inside you can see uh, just double click it and you can see here that ID name and uh, number are the fields we have created there by using that uh, command terminal window 
so here you can able to see this in this id environment uh, so you can uh, able to navigate this uh, in a table view and text view and tree view this is a tree view is a table view and this is an so every uh, rows in the fields are created this is the document uh, so you can able to see all the results in uh, text view and everything view okay and us uh, now we are going to insert any file now any big file here for that uh, I'm just giving in that location I'm just going to uh, give any big file here for example I'm giving the 48 MB here it is in 48 MB file size so I'm just giving that file name here and uh, um, mm, this is uh, this coding is used to read the file using the file input stream and uh, here we are connecting the DB by this uh, for example here I am giving the name of uh, mongo file 1 I am going to create the DB name in the name of mongo file 1 and this is the port number and that is the um, IP address and the port number uh, when you execute this code means the database will be created uh, in the MongoDB, we have used uh, gridfs object to insert a file. So we have used initialize it, and uh, this is the file name. This is the file name. Just give any file. For example, I'm giving Mongo one is a file name here, and uh, and this is the uh, coding for saving the file into that uh, DB. Uh, it uh, get, it is getting in the form of ima uh, image bytes, and uh, here. Uh, when you execute when you execute this code it will be saved after saving that file we are going to write the we are going to retrieve the file from the database for retrieving the code from the database you have to give the gridfs of dot find one method is used to retrieve the file name and uh, we are going to write it using the file output string run it now So when you run the process it is getting running now so we have um, we have uh, given the file in the size of 48 MB so it is getting processed now so the file it is processed and retrieved in the name of DP file one here and we can able to see using mongo DUV now we can able to see the results in MongoDB for that and the overall we have successfully installed the MongoDB and we have processed the MongoDB by using the Java and we successfully install the data and uh, edit the data by using that MongoDB editor IDE and we successfully uh, bind the configuration by using the Java thank you for watching here when you give it a fresh uh, here our newly created database is listed here and uh, inside that um, uh, mongo file one you can able to see the gritty of us uh, package here where the our uh, file is actually installed you just double click it and you can able to see that file name mongo one you just double click it and open that here you can you can uh, able to open it and work but or any default editor here so you can able to see the right ad that is a 48 MB file will be stored and successfully viewed in using this IDE so you can have uh, many options like add files add folder open save to and you can able to save uh, directly in this using this ID and you have uh, the collection folder so and uh, everything in the ID everything is facilitated you can able to see the collection table and uh, JavaScript stored JavaScript will be also displayed here everything will be listed here so in that MongoDB uh, in that uh, new DB you can able to see that uh, inserted uh, as I said you are inserted uh, fields and documents in that we have inserted the file and every process uh, uh, will be visualized easily and comfortably by using the ID Mongo V ID ID and uh, likewise we have inserted that file the 30 a uh, 30 GB file here um, 
so we can able to process large bytes of data by using the mongodb database